Greetings, folks. This is uh, Conrad Anker from Everest Base Camp, the uh, 2012 Everest Education Expedition. It's the 1st of May. We've been here at Base Camp a month. We've done two acclimatization rotations to 6,400 meters and up to 7,000 meters. So we're, along with the other teams here at Base Camp, playing the weather game at this point. It's been unseasonably windy, dry and cold this year and the combination of those three meteorological effects has created a very uh, a bone dry mountain environment to be climbing in so when there's more snow there things are a little bit easier so we're all kind of playing it by ear the winds um, particularly the jet stream that basically sounds like a waterfall cascading over a cliff above 7,000 meters has not abated at this point and we're still trying to uh, find out when the best uh, summit window. And it's probably 10 days out before the summit gets climbed. It's usually climbed by a team of Sherpas that are working on behalf of the guided expeditions. And last two years, it's been on the 4th and 5th of May. It's not gonna happen this year at that time frame. Um, so we're um, sort of, it's a little bit of wait and see game, but um, Really had a great time today with the uh, team from the Mayo Clinic and to do these uh, fascinating tests of everything from uh, lung volume to um, uh, diffusion and I mean things that are way over my head to cognitive tests and how are we functioning, um, how are we, are we still able to think at altitude and things like this. And it's interesting because altitude is an an artificial duress I and mean, it's a self-imposed duress on the cardiovascular system and that is something that benefits medicine um, in general so someone that's um, has a compromised uh, cardiac system is going to be experiencing the same things we are here at Everest Space Camp which is 5,200 meters or approximately 17,400 feet Everything takes, it's a great effort to get everything here and it's the first of May and we're bundled up in down jackets and two layers of long underwear and, and winter boots. So it's a very um, fascinating environment to be in, but it's, um, humans weren't meant to survive here. And pretty much every day above 14,000 feet, approximately, 4,000 meters, um, the human body just doesn't do well. It's, it's just coping and as best it can, but we're not rejuvenating. We're not skin. Nicks don't heal on your skin. Sleep is, is, is good, but it's not as deep and restful as it would be in your own home bed or at sea level. So uh, we're doing well. We're, we're adjusting slowly.